Well, hey there, this is Jerry, and I'm getting started on another episode of What's Broke Today. And today, um, I got my 77 Ford behind me, but it's mainly because I started working on a drive shaft and uh, decided to start videotaping after I'd already, you know, pulled it out and was working on it. So I thought I'd use my 77 to show you my starting points. All right, now to get started, that... I tried to video while I was marking and that didn't work very well so when I started I come back here and I marked my drive shaft and I marked the yoke so I'd keep this clock the same way it was when I took it apart what well, same way it was before I took it apart and then I come up to the front of the drive shaft and I put a mark on the drive shaft to mark on the front yoke and laying here I actually see which I don't know if you can uh, marks from when I did the carrier bearing on this truck which I did that before I started filming videos so cuz yeah cuz and then there's the mark when I pulled the drive shaft two halves apart but more or less to keep this clock the same I got mark on the front of the tube mark on the yoke and then also mark on the front drive shaft and the other thing I'm doing is trying to keep things in time with the front um, U-joint up at the transmission the only goofy thing about this Ford which I don't know how I would have done things when Ford put this together you can see that the front of the tube the direction of the U-joint is kind of up and down the way it's sitting here on the truck Which I hope you can see that but then here at the back if this would have been me to me logic says that this should have been going the same orientation as up there but I guess they don't figure it matters since we have the center support bearing here you know the center support bearing apparently they don't determine that this being in the same clocked position as the very front one because it's 90 degrees different but regardless it works it doesn't vibrate but yeah the main thing is you know, when you're taking this thing apart make sure you mark everything so you can keep the timing or the sink of the drive shaft the same. Well, today we're going to change out a carrier bearing. That rubber has failed and it's been bouncing around. You can see where it's shiny, where it's been sliding forward and backwards in the housing. And uh, what I'm going to use to pull the old one off is my bearing separator set now I gotta get it set up that out of the way I'm pulling these out Mainly because I'm going to flip this over and put it on like that. And notice I marked the drive shaft here and then the rear section I marked it as well. So that way when I put it back together I'll line up my marks and get it in the same orientation that it was originally. Loosen those up enough where I can get it over the the bearing. Wipe that muck off from the last time I used it. Once we get that over there.
All right, well, I was up there. I was trying to use my, uh, you know, T-bar with the separator plate. That wasn't working. So I come out here and got it mocked up in the drill or in my press. Now I'm just going to... I don't want the snout of the drive shaft to whack the ground, so I got it um, over a board. And just take the And then we got our collar that the uh, boot for the rear drive shaft goes on. Then when you pull this off, pay attention to the direction. So you get this back in the same way. Because see, that has got the little snout sticking out on one side. And that snout goes toward the rear drive shaft or toward this cone. up off there and then a little bit of cleaning and then we gotta go get a new bearing okay so old bearing off and lube that a little a little bit in there now, of course, this really only goes on one way because of this flange. If you try to put it on backwards, that this would hit the drive shaft. We get that up on there, kind of like so. And then we can take a pipe and get it started. Now I'll get my board. I just kind of stand that up like so. Well, I guess I forgot to hit record when I got back, but what I, I used was, this is a um, harmonica bouncer holder for a Honda. I put it down on there because it's just about right to fit inside of there. And then went back to my pipe and drove that down on there. That I did use the file and kind of deburr it a little. Um, yeah, next thing uh, I think I got to get is this uh, metal bar off of here. I'm going to read the instructions, which hopefully the wind didn't blow them too far. Well, that'll finish out our video on our center support bearing on our Chevrolet 3500 drive shaft. I appreciate you watching. That We always like those thumbs up for the likes. Appreciate all those comments and say Hello to all my subscribers, and uh, anybody that's not subscribing, better join on in, because I'll tell them what else you're going to see on What's Broke Today. Thank you.